Welcome to How to RC. This is the Polaris Project. Do. <clears throat> we just take a dab of RTB silicone, which is a pretty good adhesive. I'll put it right down here. Tape those wires right into that silicone, and they'll stay there. Until you have to take them out to put them in the next one. Same thing with the servo wire. Just a little dab of RTV. Little piece of tape. You can stay over on that side of the pipe. Now the other thing I like to do is I like to keep this thing as watertight as I can. So I'm going to take some RTB on my finger and I'm going to put it up here where I put the uh, servo wire through the hull. And over here or I put the motor wires through the hull and the wing up into the interior of the cabin and uh, oops, I have to glue that back in so any water that gets into the motor nacelle runs down the wire chase and ends up in here doesn't go into the upper part of the cabin so you'd be able to pick the plane up like this, the water will run back out and run out of the motor nacelle if you're lucky. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the motor wires out the side of the motor nacelle. I'm going to cut a little uh, angled place right here. just big enough to get these three wires out through it I'll put a little RTV silicone around those and uh, then I'll be able to change the motor if something should happen to the motor I can replace it okay as you can see I just finished putting the reinforcing around the inside of the motor nacelle and I put this little piece of actually it's fiberglass but it, you know a little piece of very thin plywood in there because it's going to support the servo that goes in here and operates the elevator. Uh, this is the elevator and I'm about to put this piece of carbon rod in here. If, if your elevator bends, the hinges won't work. You'll have no elevator. So it's important that you keep it straight. Well, now is as good a time as any to put the uh, tip floats on. Kind of sanded so they meet along here and go right up along there. And give the wing a little spritz of water. Put a little Gorilla Glue on it. Okay. I glued the tip floats on, used my little clamps, put a piece of wood up here to distribute the load so it doesn't make a footprint in the uh, top of the wing. Uh, they came out real nice, real, real firm. Uh, I cheated a little bit on these in that I used uh, pink foam 
to make them and then just put uh, a piece of six millimeter Depron on the outside so it will be white. You can make them, if you don't have any pink or blue foam, you can make them out of just layers, uh, you know, multiple pieces of foam of uh, Depron to make them whatever thickness you want. Uh, I put my little reinforcement up here for the elevator servo. <laughs> it's going to go right in the side here. servo. It's one of the Hextronix um, 9 millimeter servos. I had a plane with this configuration in it all summer and dunked it numerous times and everything was fine. I did my uh, soak it in corrosion block waterproofing. This stuff here that you can get. The only place I've seen it actually is, is uh, West Marine. Now one of the secrets of this is you have to have your uh, servo wire long enough so that if you need to change the servo, strip the gears or whatever, it's got to come all the way out here so that you can plug your new servo in and then, and then put the servo in there. Yeah. with some uh, blue RTV uh, automotive stuff silicone makes a good adhesive and of course it makes things waterproof I put a little silicone all the way around it and underneath the <coughs> the mounting tabs and the thing is that you can cut it real easy to get them back out again unlike uh, hot glue which works just fine but it's real hard to cut to get your servo back out. Now another thing I'm going to try is oh, I'm going to try these little uh, little pin hinges here for the rudder. See how they uh, and you just take and push them into the uh, Push them into the rudder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little hinges. To make sure they're going the right way and they're swinging the right way. Put a little, little drop of uh, Foam safe CA on it. And a little kicker. And straighten them out. And then swing. Should put a little drop on. You might want to put a little drop of oil on there before you uh, 